here it is the 26th of December and the Lord gave me um, a word and you know it's really incredible because I completely forgot about this but at any rate this morning I was reminded um, recently I sold this little tablet for 120 bucks got the money deposited I was getting ready to send it to Michael and I went to the bus stop and there's a couple sitting there they asked to use my phone and I let them use the phone. They were asking for money, somebody on the other line, for something. And they were shot down. And, of course, compassion kicked up. And I was like, man, you can't say no to a hungry person. This couple's older. So, I mean, come on. I feed the homeless better than I eat. Don't play. They they eat things that I wish I could would would afford to buy for myself. But that's the truth. So, at any rate, I said, are you guys hungry? And they go, yeah, yeah. So we went into Jack in the Box, and their order came to $46 for two people. I told the people, I said, this money is supposed to go to Cambodia. I said, but, you know, I'm sure Michael understand feeding somebody who's hungry. No big deal. And I said, plus my conscience is clear. It's not for me. So at any rate, I was astonished when they said 46 I said, oh, no, 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 no. I'm not paying $46. That, I mean, it's a five-star. That's steaks. What are you talking about? No, 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 no. So I was upset. I thought it was the people behind the counter. So I got them each. I, I went outside and I ended up giving them each. I gave them 20 bucks. I said, that's enough for you to each get a meal. Now, in the meantime, I had the 26 and change because they gave me 46 back. So what happened was I got lost, overshot my bus stop. I ended up by this um, industrial neighborhood. And I had to use the bathroom. I was like, oh, Lord, what am I going to do? This is not good. But I saw these cars parked into a fire extinguisher business. So I walked over there, pulled on the door, and some people came out. Apparently, it was a little Christian group, Spanish Christian group, and they were having a little meal together. And I, I said, may I use your bathroom, please? They said, sure. And so I went in and used the bathroom. I came out, and all of a sudden, uh, the Lord told me to pray over them in Hebrew and bless them, Aaron's blessing. So I did. I said, the Lord is coming. Praise his holy name. Hallelujah. And then I went outside and there was a guy standing there sweating, drinking water out of a jar. And I'm kind of fond of jars. Diana can relate to that. So at any rate, um, apparently he had lost somebody in an accident. He was just weary trying to feed his family. So I had that leftover that they had given me back. So I just handed it to him. I said, here's $25. I said, I said, 25 is agape. It is the pure love of God. That's what it means. And he started crying. So at any rate, later on, I wired my, Michael the rest. But here's the thing. Today, the Lord led me to Rainbow's video about Malachi, the false prophets. And the duration of her video was 16 minutes and 34 seconds. The Lord said, look it up. And guess what? It was a story of Ananias and Sapphira. And then immediately I was reminded you know what that couple did? They called me the very next day asking me, hey, we want to meet with you. And I was like, guys, I have nothing left. I mean, everything I have, I, I've committed overseas. And I said, I don't even have two pennies to up together. I said, I can't help you. So apparently the Lord revealed to me in that moment. Oh, and by the way, when I gave them the $20, they asked for five more. Can you do five more? I was like shocked. That was very telling. Tucked that behind your ear. TVE. So what happened was that night I had a dream. And I would, dreamed I was in a car and I looked down and I saw in the console something that looked like a black, or not black, uh, like a chocolate toffee candy and plastic. I knew immediately by spiritual discernment it was heroin. I knew that they had bought drugs with the money. I felt such shame, man. Satan is so sneaky, plays on our emotions. We've got to be so careful. Careful. Lord says, when you go someplace, greet no one. And I'll tell you what, I adhere to that now. Because they just accost me. It's like somehow, I don't know, they suck any cash. If I ever have cash, they'll suck it out of my pocket. And I don't know how they do it. And it always is revealed later, you got conned. You got conned. You got conned. You didn't ask me first, and that's the whole key. We gotta pray first. So, I, I, I don't know what it is, but I'm telling you, these demons have a seducing spirit, and they are professionals. 
at sucking the resources out of the children of God. You understand? So what happened was uh, when they had called me the next day and they asked us, I realized the Lord gave me spiritual discernment. He said, they use the money for drugs. And this is their hustle. They go to the bus stop because nobody, everybody knows they can't run with their phone. You can go catch them. They're not going to get away with it. So, of course, they're going to see us. So what I did was I called back the number that they had called me from. I said, don't give those people anything. They, this is their hustle. And so I told them. I said, don't. They said, we've been wanting to do something good. And I got to witness to them. And I sent them some Christian videos. So it worked out. See, we thwarted Satan's plans and used it against him. And I ended up getting to witness to that couple. It was wonderful. See, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, violence, the children of God, but that's all going to change. But we've got to be wise as serpent, gentle as a dove, turn it around. And so that's what happened. And uh, here they were using me and I made a video about it. You know, I said, these poor people, blah, blah, blah. And then Jack in the box wouldn't give them their food and they overcharged. It turned out to be they were hustlers. They absolutely knew what they were doing. So, guys, I don't know what to say, but I was reminded I completely forgot about that couple at the bus stop until just now reading the story of Ananias and Sapphira, you know, and I had sold the tablet, took pictures. I'd made the guy give me the money because I said, no, listen, you have to do it by your own volition. And I knew if he walked out the door and didn't give me that money for the tablet, I knew I'd never see it. I knew the Lord revealed to me that Satan would take the money from him and the kingdom of heaven would have never gotten anything. So at any rate, that's what happened, guys. And I just wanted to share that. I don't even know if I can send this, but I didn't feel like texting it and typing it in. It's such an aggravation. I just don't have the patience. But uh the Lord is coming. Thank the Lord. I tell you, I'm so weary. It's like it's it's unbelievable. You know, it's unbelievable. But praise his holy name. I was reminded of that story and how Satan immediately accosted me. You know, they purposely ran up the bill knowing that the cash would be given back. They knew. They knew. They're so slick. So, I don't know. They knew that once the cash was out, there's something about the magnetic strip. They can just suck it right out of your pocket. I don't know what it is, but that's how people get caught bringing in cash and they don't claim it because of the metal strip. And then they seize it all at the airports. And I'll tell you, people are foolish. All right. My people perish for lack of knowledge. Praise his holy name.